So, this is the all-knowing one, huh? Yep, that's the all-knowing one right there. They've been broken for a while just sitting here in the kitchen. Is there anything you can do about it? Of course I can fix her. Chica probably has the same problems that the art Chica has. Eats too much trash in this kitchen. Just fix this wire here and that should do it. Ah! Oh, great all-knowing one. Can you answer the question that will help me and Gregory return to our dimension and also transform us back into our normal selves? No, you fool. She, Chica's not the all-knowing one. I'm the all-knowing one. Mm -hmm. Little superstars, you're not in your cribs. Where'd you go? They're not here in Chica's room either. I thought she would have made them pizza or something. Thank God they're not here in Monty's room. This guy never cleans the place. Oh, I know where they're at. Oh no, they're not there either. I must have lost them forever. Calm down, Freddy, calm down. The little darlings are right here. So let me get this straight. You two have come from another dimension or an alternate reality in the future because some robot alligator was trying to turn you back into the age that you were normally at, which he just happened to be the one who turned you into babies in the first place. Do I have that right? Uh, actually, yeah, that's what happened to us to a T. You're like the first person we ever talked to that get this right on the first try. Uh, it's not that hard to understand timey-wimey stuff. I'm a Doctor Who fan anyway. So, the answer to your question is right behind me. This button that says Showtime. Oh, wow, really? Yes, you see the machine that you were using had a connectivity problem that had a breach between your world and timeline and our timeline. Simply pressing that button back there will not only transport you back to your proper timeline, it will also change you back into your proper age. Um, that seems really simplistic and a lazy answer to our problem. Look, the FNAF movie ended with a little girl drawing a picture of string trap destroying us. We really don't have great answers for our continuity. Woohoo! Let's go, cousin! Actually, Greg, it's time for you to go. Wait, what? I'm actually going to stay here. You see, the animatronics in the future in Security Breach, they have all the things they need to fix themselves. This place is so broken and run down. They can't even fix themselves as one of them gets broken. So, I'm going to stay here and take care of them. Oh, I'll miss you, Kirsty. I'll miss you too, Gregory. Also, do me a favor. Say goodbye to all the animatronics for me. And tell Roxanne, don't wait anymore. I will. Goodbye, my friend. <sighs> I'm sorry, Superstar. I failed you. I failed to turn you back to your normal age. I failed to protect you. I even failed to keep you in this dimension. I don't know where you are. I would get anything to see you again, Gregory. Hey, Freddy. Oh, hey, Gregory. <gasps> Gregory! Yep, I'm back, and I'm back to normal. W what happened? You're back to normal! Well, me and Cassie got transported to another dimension, and we met the original versions of you. And they were able to figure out what was wrong with the machine, and got me turned back to normal. Roxanne! Come quick! Gregory's back to normal! Oh my goodness, Gregory! You're back to normal! Oh, I'm so happy! But where's Cassie? Well, Roxanne, Cassie decided to stay back where we got transported to. She felt she was still needed there. You know, if it was anyone else, I would say they're out of their mind. But I know how strong-willed Cassie is, and I know she made the right decision for herself. So I'm proud of her. But she did have one me message for you. She told you to stop waiting. I think I know what she means. Hey, Freddy, there's something I need to tell you. Why? You haven't called me Simp Bear in a while? No, it's that you're my Simp Bear now. Mwah!